everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, do remember to subscribe, smash that like button and do remember to share because sharing is caring. And today guys, it's Luton nil, Penchester United 3. That's right guys, I said it again, Penchester United 3. Another game where we receive a penalty. That is four. The last four games we've we scored a goal with three penalties, guys. Today we was fortunate to score two goals from play from open play. Thank God we finally brought the deadlock when it comes to that. Because if it was just winning by one goal, I would not be happy. You guys would not be happy. But yeah, we are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Penchester United, once again, we do this again. Thank God we have won, guys, because if we was to lose today, woo, the headlines. Oh, Oli would have been a, on toast. In fact, in, in the stands, you can see him. He was worried. Oli, are you okay? Is everything all right, bro? You look stressed and worried, and I wouldn't blame him, guys. I wouldn't blame him. The board are moving mad. You know, you got Patricia Evans coming out and saying some couple of things, you know. But apart from that, we are through to the next round. We can only look up and go in. And we just have to just move on. We move, guys. We started off pretty much pretty brightly in the first 10 to 15 minutes. A good passage play. The players passing the board pretty well. Um, the players looked a bit lively. Everything was going well. And of course, there was create a bit of chances, uh, a little bit of chances, but it doesn't mean we was give, uh, creating clear cut chances. But it was better than what we saw against Crystal Palace. But nevertheless, we was doing well in the first ten to fifteen minutes, going on to the to the what to to the thirtieth minute, as it got a bit boring. I was everyone's thinking, what's going on? It's mentioned I had even gone to school. Then again, we just concede. I mean, not concede. Well. We get a penalty, and that's where the Penchester United penalty nickname comes from. Because all we do is gain penalties. Juan Mata with a swift penalty, easy one, making it 1 0 for Manchester United in the first half. And in the first half, 1 0 up against Luton Town. Luton Town at that moment there thought, Jesus, we're going to have a long night. Because at the end of the day, Manchester United was dominating the first half. They, they had a couple of chances like all oh, championship teams do. do. They do create chances, but again, they're all like the annoying, annoying little pests and bugs that you just have to just stamp out. Once you stamp them out, you can stamp the rest of those ants. If they were incense, they were a bunch of ants at the end of the day. Just step on one. Um, no animal cruelty, guys. You know, they don't condone that. But yes, I'm just giving examples. Don't try to attack me. Yes, just once you stamp on one, you can stamp on the rest and they're all fleeing and scared. That's what happened in the second half. But guys, in the second half, it was boring. Super boring that I needed my own. I needed to make myself some coffee. I was falling asleep. And I thought, God, it's going to be a long night, man. Thank God, right now I am on Jack. I am on that caffeine. I am jacked up on that caffeine, guys. Uh, right now I'm just pumped up. So, yes. As soon as Mason Greenwood and Bruno Fernandes and Mark Strashford came on, everything started to become a bit more lively. I was enjoying it. I was thinking, okay, cool. We'll get them on a break and a counter-attack. This is going to be interesting. That, exactly, that's what it was. We was getting them on a break on the counter-attacks and etc. Until finally, brilliant knockdown, keeping hold of the ball by Mason Greenwood, our new number 11. Passing it to Mark Strashford. Mark Strashford finally slotting it in. Finally, I was thinking, thank God, thank God, guys. Our first goal in open play for, for, well, since the last four to five matches that I've been watching Manchester United playing because we've been scoring penalties. And, you know, if you've got Bruno, Pe Bruno Fernandes, been scoring the penalties and being dubbed like that. But, yeah, Mark Strashford, finally a confidence booster goal. It's good to see him on the score sheet. It was a brilliant goal that he took as well. And then my guy, Mason Gunman Greenwood. Ah, evergreen, forever green. Giving women all the long words, you get me, bruv. Jeez, Mason Greenwood. Calmly open up his body and slots the ball into the bottom corner in there. 
made it look easy. Made it look easy. But my guy, Mason Gunnery Greenwood, salute to you, my brother. Brilliant goal. And the match finished 3 0 to Manchester United, meaning that Manchester United are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. Luton being eliminated. Luton, thank you for participating. And you are out at the end of the day. Guys, let's move it straight up to the man of the match. My man of the match, I could have given it to Juan Mata, but I would definitely have to give it to Donny van der Beek. Donny van der Beek was extremely amazing. Pulling strings, finding himself in spaces and pockets and just giving those delicious integrate, integrate passes. Those one-twos, oh, the nutmeg towards um, Juan Mata, who was, Juan Mata was offside was amazing guys it was brilliant i have to give it to donny van der beek he deserves it that was his second game this time today he started he done exceptionally well i can't wait to see him in the midfield with bruno fernandez or paul pogba it will be amazing guys and you've got to look forward to that guys my donkey of the match today which is the mo the least most impressive was today was i have to say brandon williams Brandon Williams, although he did okay and everyone else did okay well as well, I have to give it to him because he was the least effective. He wasn't getting forward as much as well. But although at times he, there were opportunities where Luton was threatening on his side of the field, he has to be my donkey of the match. And uh, yeah, that's uh, it definitely has to be Brandon Williams, guys. Guys, you told me exactly who you think you was your man of the match. And who was your donkey of the match? And remember to smash that like button, guys. Let's move up straight up to the play rating. In goal, making his Manchester United debut, I believe. Or he may have made his Manchester United debut before he left. But yes, Dean Henderson. I thought Dean Henderson was was good today. When he came up for it, he, done, he gave a pretty good save. He done a pretty good save. I saw very much a good pass from Dean Henderson from his from a goal kick, as well as coming out of his line and playing the ball forward. I thought that Dean Henderson was okay. Well, he done really well, so I'm gonna have to give him a seven. He kept a clean sheet. It was a very good debut for him. And I, yeah, I believe it, it was his first. It was his debut's first game for Manchester United. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give him a seven. Right back, Aaron Wan. Bissaka, Spider One, my guy, finally looked good today. He was fit, he was doing well, got a bit forward as well. Yeah, he looks good today. I'm gonna have to give him a 7 too. And then we have my guy, mon frère, mon gars, mon, mon ami, hey, my compatriot, Eric Bailly. Bailly, brother, today he was solid, bro. Just because you're Ivorian and I'm Ivorian, I'm just going to have to give you a 7 today as well, my brother. And we're moving on straight to Harry Beckenbauer today. He looked like Harry Beckenbauer. But yet, still, some of his passes going the wrong way as well. But apart from that, he was very commanding. So Harry Beckenbauer, Harry Maguire, I'm going to have to give you a 7 too. Brandon William today as well. You was, like I said, a bit fragile on the defensive side. Wasn't getting forward. So with my Brandon Williams... I'm going to have to give him a six. My donkey of the match has to get the lowest score. Otherwise, it don't make no sense. What's the point? In midfield, we had Pastor Fred. He was just serving sermons today. He done the usual, you know, giving the good. Just like as always, whenever you ask, how was church? Oh, it was good. You know, it's not all the time it's going to be, oh, church was blessed. Because Pastor Fred was giving the delicious sermon today. Where I felt touched and blessed, my guy. Today... He gave the usual sermon, you know, to getting covering all the grasses, covering the areas, and you know, tackling and just being a, a, a pest as always. You know what I mean? Dropping them prayers to those people. People just fainting. Those players are fainting. I'm gonna have to give him and a seven too. Everyone will be getting a couple of sevens. You know, there's a lot of sevens that's gonna be handed out today because, and anyway, I'm still upset from Crystal Palace game. Guys, make sure you catch that match reaction as well. So yeah. Matic, you know, Ivan Drago, you know, these Serbians be looking like that guy from Rocky. But yeah, I'm going to have to give him a 7-2. He's done well. 
And we moved us straight on to who played right wing, Juan Mata. As well, Juan Mata was very good. Was very good. I'm going to have to give him an 8 2. And with Donny van der Beek, my man in the match, he will also get an 8. Eight and a half, I would say. Just a bit slightly better than Juan Mata. Very effective in, in midfield as well. Excellent signing. Excellent signing so far. And then we move it up straight to the right, onto the left wing. We had Jesse Lingard. Jesse Lingard did well. He knows he's going to get sold, but he did well. I'm going to have to give him a 7 2. Up front, Ingalo. I'm just going to give him a 7. Just, just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it. He did was okay. But I just. We could talk about him another time. And when Mason Green will come in on and Mark Rashford, both of them will get a 7 2. Mason Greenwood, slightly better, stronger 7. Because of course he done well and the assist and the goal. Uh, with Bruno Fernandez, gonna have to give him a seven two. I could he done well. Could have given him a six as well, but it's okay. Straight to that manager rating, Oli. Today I'm gonna have to give you a seven, even though you look worried. Oli, it's okay. I understand that you're worried. Don't worry, you're going to get your players. I'm hoping that the Glazers will turn up and not let you down and give you the players that you need, my brother. Because, boy, you don't have it up there tactically. So you need the, you need the players, you know, just, 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 just so that you've got good players that can just execute what you're trying to do, you know. That's what you need right now because up there, you ain't got it. You ain't got it, my friend. But well, yeah, guys, it was fantastic. It was good. Make sure you subscribe, bruv. Smash that like button if you loved it. And also remember to share, guys. Remember to follow the socials. You know the Instagram. Red United TV 1. You know what I mean? On the road to 4K. Yep. And make sure you continue to subscribe. I'm on the road to 1K right now, guys. Remember to share. And also, what's it called? Keep it united and keep it Red United. Peace out.